Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. You guys, in this video, we're going to wash our 2017 Dodge Journey. We just got back from vacation. It's pretty dirty. It's got sand and stuff all over it. And we're going to use Gion's Q2M Restart Wash. Let's do it. So you guys, we just got back from our vacation to Panama City Beach, Florida. Um, we put roughly 17 to 1800 miles on the car round trip plus driving around while we're down there the whole time. It has bug guts all over it, including the cargo carrier that we put on top. Um, it has sand all over it. It's got dirt. It's got water kick up. So we did drive through some rain. Um, it sat out in the Florida sun. It did not get in any shade at all. It's out in an open parking lot the entire week from Saturday to Saturday just sun baking on it. The hot sun is about 85 degrees every day. One day it was like almost 90, it was like 89. And the, the bug guts, everything got baked into this thing. It looked absolutely terrible. And then when we drove home, it rained on us. So it washed some of it off, honestly, um, which is shows me that the coating is doing exactly what it's supposed to do because we have the Gion Can Coat and the Gion Can Coat plus wax on this car. Um, and that's on the passenger side, has the Can Coat plus the wax. The driver's side has just the Can Coat. Yeah, but the coating was doing what it's supposed to do because it rained and it washed off a lot of the nasty bug guts I noticed that were on there all week. So in this video, we're going to wash the exterior because it's bad. Um, and we're going to see what the surface underneath the car looks like when we get done with it. We're going to start the video off by using Bathe. Now, we're going to use Bathe in just a foam cannon. That's going to be my pre-wash because, like I said, there's, there is sand on the surface of the car, especially on the roof area and down by like the windows um, and the back hatch down towards the bottom of the back hatch. Uh, we don't want to rub that sand into the paint because you can imagine what that's going to do. So we're going to spray that on or foam it on. I'm sorry. We're going to foam it on. We're going to let it dwell for about a minute or so, and then I'm going to rinse it off. And then after that, we're not going to foam. We're just going to go straight into the Q2M restart wash. Restart wash has an iron remover built into it. It smells bad. I can tell you that much right now um, when you open the cap. Um, but what it's going to do is as you're washing the car, it's going to help decontaminate the paint if the coating's clogged in spots. Because if you remember my first video on the update on the can coat, the driver's side of the hood looked a little, little flat in a spot. Um, and then the passenger side door, uh, the passenger side door is actually the, the lower half looked a little bit flat or not the car look great but we're going to use the restart wash to help get rid of anything that may have gotten on this during our entire travel down there because we were on and off the brakes on and off the brakes on and off the brakes the whole way down we got six traffic jams it took us a long time to get there um unfortunately but luckily on our way home not too bad at all um so the, i know that the coating is going to be clogged in spots and it's going to need decontaminated and you should use a wash like this on a coated car once every couple months um i think it's been about two months since we applied the coating so we're going to use that to wash it and then to dry it. You never dry without a drying aid. And I'll make sure I show you guys the hydrophobics before I dry the car. That way you can see what it looks like. But then we'll use the Q2M ceramic detailer. Keep it in the same family for the coating. I'll spray it on the surface. I'm not going to show that in the video most likely. Spray on the surface. Use my drying towel, my uh, Gion drying towel, and wipe it up. And once it's done and dry and, and I can show you guys what it looks like, I'll get the camera back out. We'll take a look at it. Most of this video is probably going to have to be done in a voiceover because it is so windy out here. It's fall in Indiana. Leaves are falling. It's crazy windy. So it's just going to have to be a voiceover on probably the entire video to most likely you guys. So, so you guys, there are bugs all over the whole front of this vehicle. It was plastered in bugs. When we got there on Saturday of last week, when we got there, the bugs were really bad. I couldn't believe any bugs were on it. But we drove through some rain on the way home, and the coating that's on the car did what it's supposed to do because the rain apparently washed off a lot of them. It doesn't look nearly as bad now as it did when we got there. Uh, but as you can see, there's still bugs everywhere. Big old bug guts just baked in from the Florida sun uh, on the bumper, the grill, the headlight, the bug deflector. It's all over the side mirrors. It's also on top of the windshield, there's bug guts where it hit there and on the cargo carrier, which I'll show you, the cargo carrier is absolutely hammered with bug guts. It's not part of this video, but I wanna show you that too. That kind of gives you an idea. Um, and then the windshield had some bug guts on it here and there, but anytime I'd use my washer solvent, um, no problem at all. It, it would just come right off because I have 
um, the Geon Quick View coating on the windshield. So we'll also take a look at how the hydrophobics look on the windshield. I can tell you, we drove through a rainstorm. It was absolutely fantastic, you guys. Um, but there's kick up all over the side panels, as you can see. Water kick up from driving in the rain on the back of the car. There's water kick up all over the rear bumper, and then water spots all over the tail lights and the tailgate from just all the kick up coming off the back wheels. There's sand all over the top of the car. A lot of that has to do with the cargo carrier taking off the cargo carrier. But there's sand on the, on top of the car, down by the windshield, uh, the windows, at the bottom of the windows. You just don't want to rub your mitt on there because you don't know where sand is going to be. So I got my work cut out for me in this video to get this car cleaned up from this long trip that we had, you guys. Um, but I'm excited to do it. So let's, let's get this video going. So I'll be putting one ounce of bathe into the foam cannon and one ounce of restart wash into the wash bucket. These Gion soaps are highly concentrated. One of the reasons I love coatings is for purposes like this right here, uh, bug removal is usually really easy. I'm just using a 40 degree nozzle, no heavy chemicals, nothing sprayed on it, and I'm just using water and high pressure to remove it. I'm not getting close enough to do any damage to the bumper, to the headlights, to the grill, or anything like that. Uh, this 40 degree nozzle is a very uh, soft nozzle, probably with this pressure washer, probably puts out 900 to 1000 PSI with that nozzle on it. Very soft and great for removing bugs, and with a ceramic coating, they just come right off as you can see right here. So as we come in and look at the foam, this foam is doing exactly what I want it to do. Uh, it's gonna encapsulate the salt or anything on the surface and bring it down to the bottom. But look at what Quick is doing to the soap. It is repelling the soap. That's what it does with rain. Uh, it doesn't, water does not wanna stay on the windshield when you're driving down the road or even just at a stoplight, it just wants to go down to the bottom. Uh, but the soap is doing exactly what I want it to do. I want it to sit on the surface long enough to get the salt or dirt or anything and bring it down to the bottom so when I rinse, it'll rinse everything off so the contact wash will be a safe wash. Um, but so far, as you can see, all the glass has a quick view on it. They all look great. Uh, the paint looks good. There are parts of, like on the door right there, you can see we're starting to repel. We gotta remember the paint has a lot of dirt on it uh, and we're gonna really know what it looks like here in just a few minutes after we get done washing it. Now that it's rinsed off, before we go into contact, I want to show you, look at this right here, the bottom portions of the panel, which is where most brake dust and contaminants are going to be, is pretty flat. Um, certain parts of all the panels have a little bit, have taken a little bit of a hit, I guess I should say, um, especially these doors right here on the passenger side. This is the side that has the can coat and the wax on top of it. Uh, the bottom portions of the doors are looking just a little bit flat, including this quarter panel right here. But if you notice how quickly it's sheeting, so the coating is still there, the glass looks fantastic just like the day that i applied it as you can see right there the hood you're going to notice a few flat spots uh, nothing major because you notice how fast it, it sheets it that's what you want um, and then this side here is just can coat and it is still holding up great a little flat right there at the very bottom of the panel it's just like on the other side that's because of all the brake dust with the long trip and all the stop and goes and all the traffic jams where i'm sure it clogged it up a little bit there um, but as you can see, it's still holding up well on the can coat side. Uh, this quarter panel right here looks really good, even for being dirty, it looks really good. 
So it's time to wash it with Restart Wash. People are gonna ask, why didn't you foam it with Restart Wash? Um, it's because the bottle says to not wash in direct sunlight. And if I foam it on, it could dry because it says do not allow it to dry. Because you gotta remember, it has iron removers in it, you guys. So I decided that's why I wanted to use Bathe. And then I'm using Restart Wash as my wash. And by doing that, I can control the panels that I wash and then I, and then I can immediately rinse. And that way I know it's not gonna dry on there because I am kind of in direct sunlight. The sun is baking that day and I did not want to take any chances at all. That's why I decided not to do that. This product here, it has plenty of lubricity to it um, and it washes very well as you can see and it, it brings the hydrophobics back. Yes, you still have a few flat spots like right there, but look at it, sheets. So that's what's important. It's still there, uh, just not as hydrophobic as it was when I first put the coating on the car. So before we dry it, I wanna rinse it. I wanna show you guys what the water behavior looks like on the panels after using the Restart Wash. Uh, the front bumper here looks really good, like the day that I applied it. Uh, the hood has a few spots like I showed you earlier, um, but the spots that you see, it sheets. It doesn't just sit there and pull up and just stay on there. It does sheet off as you can see right there. So once again, that's what's important, getting the water off of the surface. Uh, front bumper once again looks, looks really good. On the side that has the can coat and the wax, as you can see, the hydrophobics have been restored on this panel right here. As you notice, remember how flat it was before? Um, it looks really good. Same with this door right here. The hydrophobics have been restored. Restart Wash did what it was supposed to do. Uh, this panel right here has a few flat spots, but not as many as it was when we first hit it before we did the wash. So that's what's important. The can coat side, I can't say enough about it. The can coat side without the wax on it looks amazing. Uh, the water behavior looks just like day one. As you can see right there, there's zero flat spots. The restart wash restored all the hydrophobics on the can coat side by itself. And I'm just really, really happy with the can coat product on its own. Uh, this rear quarter panel right here, I kind of mess with it a little bit longer because I can do this all day long. I love watching this type of stuff, uh, but the hydrophobics look really, really good there. And then the glass, it wasn't bad to begin with at all, um, but the restart wash didn't affect it. It's still just as hydrophobic as it was uh, before we washed it. So everything looks really, really good, including this, this mirror right here. All right, you guys, so the wind has died down enough, as you can notice, American flag, that I can actually have the microphone on. It was so windy when I was washing it. I don't know if you guys noticed it or not. So we washed it with Restart Wash, and or actually foamed it with Bathe, which has no protection in it, and then Restart Wash, which has an iron remover in it. And then I dried it with Ceramic Detailer. You always want to use drying aid, otherwise you're going to scratch your finish. And I'm growing to love this uh, Q2M glass, man. It flashes really fast. Detailer does also. So look at this paint. These products did a fantastic job of protecting it. It looks like I just got done putting the coating on. It looks so good. Glossy as all get out. Glass cleaned up great. The bugs in the front, oh, I missed a spot actually, right there. The bugs in the front are pretty much gone without having to use a heavy duty bug cleaner, which is awesome. That's a great thing about having a coating. The coating did a great job on that. The bugs on the mirror gone this car was pretty hammered it had sand all over it if you notice there's no tire shine on the tires that's because i want you guys to see what it looks like when you put tire shine on i think it enhances the overall appearance of the car i want you guys to see it without the tire shine on so you get an idea of what the paint actually looks like if that makes sense to you guys we have tons of gloss i did notice the hydrophobics are better on the can coat side so the wax side itself was better after restart wash, but the side with the can coat had way better hydrophobics. I don't know if the wax kind of, obviously it's on top of the can coat. Maybe it's not as hydrophobic, but the restart wash did help bring that back. Looks really good. Remember all the water spots were back here on the tail light. All down through here I and mean, look at the gloss that's that's what i always look for in a product of how well it kept the gloss after the detail this thing the canco is doing exactly what you want it to do this is the uh, two month and one week mark 
because I put it on August 8th. And today, we just got back from vacation yesterday, is October 17th, so basically two months and one week. How nice it looks, and please do not mind all of our beach stuff because we're letting it all dry out. The cargo carriers over there, I cleaned the cargo carrier up also while I was washing the journey. Had bugs all over it. This is amazing. I'll show you guys what it looked like before and what it looks like now. Even something like that, I make sure it's clean before the next trip. So yeah, you guys, very, very happy with the can coat. Um, very happy with restart wash. The restart wash smells like an iron remover when you open the bottle. You're like, oh no, it smells awful. But when you're washing, once you have it out and diluted in water, you really don't smell it very much. You can actually smell um, whatever fragrance they put in it. I can't pinpoint what fragrance Gian is using in all of their products, but they all have about the same fragrance. I, I can't pinpoint what it is. Somebody, if you know, let me know. One time I kind of thought it was like lemons, but I'm not sure. But yeah, there you go, you guys. Restart Wash did exactly what it was supposed to do. All right, you guys, so you guys see right there, there's so much gloss on this car still. So the coating is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It really does look like I just got done doing a paint correction and applying a coating to this car. That's what you want out of a protection product. You want it to look awesome when you get done washing it again, just like I did the day you got done detailing it. And Restart Wash brought the water behavior back, especially on the side doors on the passenger side where the lower panels were kind of flat, not totally flat, um, but they were definitely full of contaminants. And I don't know if you noticed in the video, and I think I mentioned it because I was able to use a microphone there at the end, um, the driver's side of the car has just can coat. The water behavior is better on the can coat side than it is on the can coat and the Gion wax side, uh, probably because the Gion wax is on top of it. So I'm be interested as that wears completely off, will my hydrophobics on the passenger side look like the driver's side. Um, that's why I did half the car one way and not the whole entire car with the wax. That's why I did that. Um, but the hydrophobics came back, came back on the hood. There's still a little bit of a flat spot there on the hood, um, but I'm not really worried about it because I do top it with the detailer when I wash it. So no big deal at all. Um, but as you see, the detailer, the last time I washed it was probably three weeks ago and I used the detailer. And as you saw, we drove the Florida and back and I still, it still has the spot. So detailer, when you're using it, as a drying aid, it gets diluted so it doesn't last as long as it would if you were using it on a dry surface and then you wipe it in you know, with a towel, um, which works good too. Also, you guys, I have tested that. It's a very fast, uh, flashing, quick detailer for the paint. Really, really good. Probably one of the best that I've used um, very well. But the windshield held up great. As you saw, the side glass, awesome. Um, it just all around, very happy with these Gion products that I am using. The hood, I'm still... I'm still keeping an eye on. It's not dead. It still sheets. It just looks a little funny in that one spot. But we are two months into a six-month product that they claim uh, lasts up to six months. Uh, so we'll just see how it goes, you guys. That's the purpose of my videos when I make these videos to show you guys on my car what's looking like. Now, I don't wash these cars every two weeks like you should on a coated car. I don't. Unfortunately, I can't. I've got way too much going on in my life to do that. So these things get beat up. They get dirty. They sit out in the sun, whatever. Um, so this is actually a really good... Uh, test if if I can make a product last as long as they say it's going to the way that I take care of them unfortunately um, with everything that's going on in my life with the business and everything um, then you know you're going to get good life if you wash yours every two weeks like you should with a coated car um, restart wash the cool thing about the restart wash is I was worried about it stinking really bad because when you open the bottle first you was like whoa you know you hear you smell that iron remover smell but whatever fragrance they put in these once it's in the bucket and you put water in there like I can smell the I remember right now just coming out of there. And once you put it in the bucket and you put your glove in there and you're washing it, you can actually smell whatever fragrance they added to it. You can still smell the iron, don't be wrong, but not bad, not bad at all. In fact, my wife hates the smell. And when I got done, I had her smell my hand that I was washing a car with. And she's like, I don't really smell it. So it's awesome that they're able to do that. It cleans well. Um, it's good, good lubricity in this uh, restart wash. Also, you guys, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It, it brought back the hydrophobics and the coating, as you guys saw, especially on the on the doors, on the side panels. The glass, everything looks really good. So, yeah, we're going on two months, and it's a little over two months and one week. So uh, we'll do another update video in the next, in, 
at the three month mark maybe or maybe even four month mark we'll take a look at uh, see what it looks like so hopefully you guys enjoy this type of video where we're using products and we're seeing a kind of worst case scenario what they can do and what they can withstand and so far the geon's making me very happy uh very happy with all those products and also mentioned the glass you know, q2m glass i have not made a video on that i have been using it a lot lately flashes almost instantly uh, very good glass cleaner, you guys, and maybe I'll make a video on that here in the future. So I want to say thank you guys so much uh, for checking this video out. This car looks amazing. Um, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video.